So we can't talk about the endocannabinoid system without talking about how CBD and THC affect it. So we're gonna start with CBD. The reason why we're talking mainly about these two is as I mentioned, they're the most highly concentrated that we can find and actually have access to in herbology, in our herbs. About a year ago, after all this time, a year ago they realized, they thought that it actually worked with CB2 receptors, CBD. So they thought like the key and lock, it worked with these receptors to turn them off, turn them on, to help with immunity, help with inflammation, all these factors. But what they found actually, what it works with is the enzymes. So it's working, for example, with FA, this enzyme that breaks down our endocannabinoid system. So it's not working at all with the receptors, but it's working with the enzymes that actually break down our proper endocannabinoids. So we get a spike of anandamide and 2-AG in the system. And this is why it's working. So it's not working directly on the receptors. It's working by the mechanisms that break down are endocannabinoids. Does that make sense? So that's really how it's working in general. Again, CBD is non-psychoactive like all cannabinoids besides THC. So you can take, you know, 1,000 milligrams and be absolutely fine, right? If you did that with THC, you're on the floor. It also works with other receptors like uh, vanillinoid, androstenone, and sorry, I'm really bad at pronunciation, and serotonin. So Andreacine actually is what caffeine, it's the receptor caffeine works on. So we're working with energy levels here. Um, it's one of the main reasons they say CBD works with anti-anxiety um, is because it's working on the serotonin receptors and these other two here. So it, it's very connected to the anti-inflammatory, anti-anxiety side of CBD. CBD has really, f let's say, four major therapeutic directions. It's working with pain and anti-inflammatory. It's one of the best yin molecules or herbs for me on the planet. It boosts yin, it's a yin substance. So it works very well with things like anxiety. Um, also it's working with the central nervous system. So it's working with any sort of neurological condition. Um, and we also see it works on immunity. It boosts and it regulates the immune system both the autoimmune and the immune system. So these are really the four major therapeutic directions we're seeing on CBD by itself as a molecule. Um, one thing to add is people say, what's the difference between hemp, hemp CBD and cannabis CBD? Actually, there's not much difference. The, the difference has to do with what the federal government put on the stipulation for the law. So if it's less than 0.3% THC, it's called hemp. If it's 0.4, it's called cannabis. Thank you.